check one. Check one. Mic check one. Mic check one. Hello, welcome to the Eric Worth Show. And here comes Eric Worth, our host of the show today. Alrighty, I'm here now. Ah, so Eric, what have you been up to these days? Um, I've been, well, I better turn that down because I'm sure audience would not like this. Uh, I think that's much better. You can turn the speaker away from me. Okay, I think we're clear. What have you been up to? <laughs> I'm just doing my stuff. Oh, what kind of stuff? Just doing my chores. Oh, fuck. Holy Alrighty. Fuck, she's got some technical difficulties going on down here. Yeah, because I'm sure you guys do not want to hear that stuff. So, Eric, do you know any good jokes? Not usually, because some of mine are, are, are inappropriate. Oh, really? Oh, no. That doesn't sound good for our audience. Yeah, like, I dared you to say, crack my finger five times, I have you say it backwards. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that for the folks at home. That doesn't sound good, idea. I know. So, Eric, what do you get when you cross a donkey? Don't know. You get cross-eyed donkey. Okay. Don't you, don't you know that? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, have you been playing your guitar? Yes, I have, and I got a noise to play again. From who? Shane and Don. Oh, you were playing so loud that they could hear you all the way down the street. Yes. Make sure make sure the audio is going through this. Uh, so you were playing so loud that they could actually hear you all the way down the street, huh? Yep. They they sure can. Well, geez, man, you're gonna have to not play so loud. Yeah, because the cops could have got me a ticket. Uh, well, what do you think the fine will be on that there ticket? Um, I can't hear you through your speakers, and I can, I'm sure they can barely hear you. Well, what do you think the fine would be? Probably $80. Eight? I don't know. It's only 80 bucks. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, what if it was like, no, $2,000? How would you pay that? Ah, uh, hell no. Nah. Oh, you don't even know how you would pay it, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, maybe you'd have to get another job. Probably. But I can't make over $2,000, though, my disability was shut down. Uh, yep. So, uh, tell the folks at home, what kind of music have you been playing? I've been playing some lot of metal stuff. Oh, really? Lots of metal stuff, huh? Yeah. Have you been trying to pack in your extreme voice? Yeah, and it hurts my vocals a lot. Oh, really, huh? Well, that's not good. I know. So, what else have you been up to? You been working out? Not usually, because I've been busy. You've been busy, yeah. Uh, oh, what have you been busy doing? My shit. Oh, really? Okay, well, I mean, I didn't know you had a mountain manure down here. Don't know either. 
so I can barely hear you. Well, what I'm saying is, you have a mountain manure down here? Nope, not usually. Well, you said you were doing your fix. Yes. So I, ju I just assumed you had a mountain of manure down here. Not, uh, not usually, because I've been just doing my chores. Yeah, well, okay, so you've not been shoveling no manure? We no. don't have a horse outside? No, we don't, but if the horse bit my hand off, the horse would have to get put down. Oh, really, huh? What if we had a rhinoceros, then what would you do? Call animal control. You would call animal control on your own rhino? Yes. What do you think he would be doing? Don't know. Would he be running loose in Denver? Yeah, and I'm sure if I call animal control, they probably would do sh shoot a pin and I'm to put him asleep, then probably put him in a Denver Zoo. Oh, well, I mean, maybe. A rhinoceros could be a pretty dangerous deal, though. Yes. I mean, he could get you with a horn. Yes. Mm, so, have you ever considered running with the bulls? No, not usually. You know what that is? Bulls can kill you if you're not careful. Yeah, well, they hold event every day, every time in Spain, you know. Yeah. And uh, they run with them, so they try to not get attacked by them. Correct. So, so I, be I believe we're going to a restaurant tonight. Yes, we're going to a restaurant. Yes. Are you excited about said restaurant? Sometimes restaurants are not my thing, but they're good. So do you uh, are you going to be killing anything tonight? They might have to boil a lobster alive tonight because they can't cook a dead because of bad bacteria. That's very, well, I mean, technically they can cook it and then reheat it. Yeah. Uh, so that's what you're going to get? You're going to get lobster? I think so. Yeah? Okay. Wh what color of lobster? Um, probably the red because cause the lobsters are always red all the time. Well, are you sure? You've never seen any purple ones. Nope. Not usually. And there's no yellow ones? Uh-uh. Have you been deep sea diving then, huh? Nope. Not usually. Then how do you know what color they are? Don't know. Just saying. I mean, come on. Yeah. So, uh, tell us, um, what are the folks at home going to be expecting? They're going to probably expecting nothing but... Unless if we spoil this. We spoil it? How are we going to spoil it? We can't tell because it will ruin everything. Oh, okay. You have a secret. I got I got you. All right. We can't say any secrets. Uh -huh. So, how are your contacts treating you? They're treating me well. Uh, have you ever considered different colored eye contacts? Nope. They're too expensive. Well, if they weren't, what color would you get? Blue. But your eye is already blue. That wouldn't be very exciting. Uh-huh. What about snake eye contact? I'm not doing those. No, you think it would look weird, huh? Yeah, they'll look weird, yes. So, um, you know, Halloween's coming up in about another three months. Have you made up a mind what you're going to be this year? Not yet, because I've been looking on Amazon for a while. And still can't find anything, huh? Yes. Oh, I see how it is. So, um, are you going to be holding concerts anytime soon? Every year we do on my birthday, because I'm sure Devin was involved in that one time. Yeah, so you're going to hold another concert for your birthday in January? And probably have a female in my concert again, because Miss Annie is a good vocalist. Oh, so Miss Annie might actually sing for us? She might, if she wants to. So, um, I mean, have you been working on that new song? I keep forgetting, and I also keep get, getting in trouble for copyrights of making covers without permission. Okay, well... I mean, you got to make up your own song. That's what the deal is. Yes, and and sometimes I almost want to burn CDs to make copies. Well, you know that's illegal, right? I know, but it's like, but you have to ask first before you do it. Well, it's legal no matter what. Who are you going to ask? The owner who made the music. Oh, so you know some people personally? No, they have a special software where you can ask them. Oh, okay, well, you can pay for it then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I see what you mean. So, um, for the folks at home, what is your favorite music? Sometimes I listen to rap music very loudly down here. What other kind of music do you like? Um, sometimes I like metal. Some heavy metal, like the thrashing kind. You don't really have the hair for it. Just saying. Cause I know Linkin Park's never heavy metal. Uh, they don't really. Con
consider Lincoln Park a uh, heavy metal either, bud. But it's not really like I'm an Amen. That's a good heavy metal band. Or Kill Switch. That's another good heavy metal band. Yeah, because I heard Three Days Grace swi- uh, split up. Yeah, they're not a heavy metal band, though. They're like pop metal. Yeah, they they split up a long time ago. Well, I mean, you know, that happens sometimes. They made a song without permission, somebody they used to know. Oh, I see. And they got in trouble? Yes, they did. Were they in the news? Nope. No. Oh, new coverage these days. Terrible. Well, you hear it, heard it first here on Eric's show. They got in trouble for creating music without permission. Mm-hmm. Yep, I sure did get in trouble. So, what else have you been doing, bud? Just, just chilling. Have you been playing your piano? Yeah, and I got new sheet music for it. Oh, yeah, what kind of sheet music? Oh, Ever Essence sheet music, huh? How good are you getting? It's a little bit hard, but I'm getting through there, but that's why I'm trying one bar line at a time. Okay, one one step at a time. Yes, um, try not to squeak the speakers very much because the people on Facebook don't like that. I don't think I can control that, buddy. Top of like not getting closer to it. And not moving. Sorry. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so you have a bunch of coffee cups down here. You've been drinking coffee all the time. That and tea. Oh, you've got to become a country tea drinker, huh? Yes, even some Gatorade stuff I've been getting. Oh yeah, what what kind of tea is your favorite? Blueberry, and I, and I and I for forgot to request you a new box because I'm almost all out. Oh, you're already drinking all, huh? Yes. Uh, okay, well, y- I told you you could buy that on Amazon yourself, you know. Yes, and I thought blueberry tea comes in double packs. So, then you have double the amount. Obviously, you're drinking it, right? Yes, because I don't know if they make coffee bag, s- c- coffee tea bag stuff for what for microwave. Coffee bag tea bag? I don't know. I don't like a, a tea bag full of coffee grounds. I don't think so, but maybe uh, somebody on the live stream could uh, help us out with that and tell us where we're wrong, because I don't drink coffee, so I have no idea. Grandma Essie had one of those. Oh, so then it is possible. Yes. Well, if it is possible, then you might have to look it up. Maybe. Uh, I don't like coffee. It's too bitter. Yeah, and I've been trying to get an ice maker, but those are expensive as a fountain I got. Well, that thing's already cold. What do you need an ice maker for? To keep it industrial cold. Industrial cold? What do you want to be in the North Atlantic? No, on just top of it, I can stay cold for a few hours. I don't know. I think you want to be in the North Pole. Okay. Gonna, your hair is going to turn a little blue if you go to the North Pole, you know. Okay. Y- you're okay with that? Uh-huh. I mean, you might blend in much better. Yeah. You know, there's no penguins there in the North Pole, though. Uh. Maybe Antarctica might be a better place. Yeah. Think you could put on a tux and maybe uh, blend in with some penguins? No, that would ruin my tux. Oh, it would ruin your tux, huh? And give me a heat stroke. Heat stroke? It's in Antarctica. You know how cold it is down there? There's no way a suit's going to just be a good enough down there. You'll freeze to death. I got a heat stroke at 26A being a half road one time in tuxedo. Yeah, but that's that's not Antarctica. Antarctica is like negative temperature, man. Yeah, and when I got a heat stroke, I almost had to go to St. Mary's Hospital for us uh-huh. while I was living in Grand Junction. What about, um, what do you think about global warming? Is this a thing? Nope, not usually. You don't think that global warming's real, huh? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so like no melting of the caps, huh? Yeah. Not on Eric watch? Uh. Okay, so um, the penguins and polar bears are going to be just fine then? Yeah, they're going to be just fine. Well. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. How hot has it been here in Denver? Hot as fuck. What? How do you know what? That, I mean, I don't know if that's actually a legitimate temperature standpoint. Because even Darren Hodgson says it's hot as fuck like I was talking to him yesterday. Oh, really? So what's your prediction for the weather for the rest of the month? It's only three days. Probably still summer in August. So, what, over 100? Yeah. Every day? Yeah. But, I mean, it's been raining. 
Uh huh. It almost rained you out the other day. Yes, even when I done this. Don't do that. We don't want the cops called here, man. They're gonna be like, "What you guys doing downstairs with the live streaming?" That in one time the fire department had to pick me up from the house one time after I had to, after I bumped this. Well, I mean, you know, you gotta be careful about that. Yeah, and then they think I was unconscious. I had to go to UC Health Hospital here in Denver. Unconscious? What were you on the floor? Yes, and, and my Apple Watch gave me a warning about my heart rate. Oh, were you like hyperventilating? Yes. Or were you just taking a nap? I was hyperventilating, and I, and I took a picture of my watch by my heart rate and sent it to you. Oh yeah, well I mean it wasn't that bug normal. So I thought I was gonna die over this. Well, I mean, you have a tendency to think you're going to die over a lot of things. Yeah, and sometimes I do have thoughts about jumping off a cliff if I can't take anxiety no more. Well, what have we told you about that, though? No one wants you to die, man. Come on. Yeah. I mean, that's not something that you should do. Uh-huh. Or either shoot myself or drink bleach. Hey, man, don't say that kind of stuff online, first of all. And second of all, nobody wants you to do that. I've been serious about this. You know this. You've been serious about this? Yeah, no, no, none of that kind of thing. Uh huh. Hey, so tell us, I, are you going to dye your hair a different color? I don't know yet. I mean, are you gonna do maybe plaid? I don't know, and I and I got something to tell you. Oh well, can I wait? No. No, what is it then? While well, that Papa Arnold's cabin, were you worried I was gonna commit suicide off the cliff at Papa Arnold's cabin? I don't know where that is. In Crawford, Colorado. There's not a cliff right there. There's not? No. So no? Just saying, it's hard to jump off a hill. We gonna roll down? Hope for the best? Might break an ankle. Yeah. Then you gotta walk back up with a breaking ankle. That's gonna be hard. Yeah, and a forest ranger's gonna find me for this. There are no forest rangers up there. It's there a national forest. They're the police of the woods. Uh, yeah, but we weren't on National Forest property. We were not? No, so there's no forest rangers going to be able to find you. Uh-huh. We would have had to come looking for you. Then we would have found you at the bottom of the hill. And you, and you would track my phone. It might have been hard to track your phone. It was kind of, signal wasn't super great up there. Well, I got two bars I was at Pop Arnold's cabin. Yeah, but if you roll down a hill, who knows if you got two bars down at the bottom. It went up to four bars when we went uh, on the other side while we were hiking. That was the other side, though, not the bottom of a canyon. Uh huh. Just saying, don't roll down hills. You could hurt your foot. Then how would you work? They'll probably fire me if I was dead. Uh, they can't fire you if you're dead? That doesn't work like that. You obviously ain't coming to work. Just saying, we're they gonna resurrect you from the dead? Let me fire you first now. Now, now he's dead. Let's. He's a ghost now. Now we're going to fire him. I don't think that's how it works, man. Okay. Last I checked, you can't fire a ghost. Uh huh. And one time I tried firing Miss Wanda. Are you saying you're gonna be a zombie? No. I'm getting concerned. He could eat me at any moment, people. A if he zombie. does, somebody report him, please. Yeah, because I know Amy's husband's a zombie now. No, he's a ghost. He ain't come back to life the last I checked. Until he went through the incinerator for ashes. And that's true. That is a very true thing. Just saying. I think Dan was bipolar. No. He had OCD and he was schizophrenic. I have schizophrenia too. I know. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything bad's going to happen to you. We hope that's not going to happen, right? Are you going to promise these people online that you're not going to do anything bad like that? Yes, I promise. All right, you here to hear. He promised. Everybody, you keep him to his word. Wow. Just saying. Now he's got to keep his word. He made a promise online where it's recordable. Oh. I could replay it at any moment in time. Wow. Just saying. Oh, I got a message from Anta Rowe, which is one of Grand Francis's family members, saying about our cabin. Oh, what are they asking? Saying you have concussion at the bottom of the hill. Uh, that would probably be true. She's got a good point. A good concussion would probably 
definitely hurts you. Then commit suicide. Well, it's not going to work to do that in the first place. We've already been over this. You can't do that off a hill. But a concussion, now she's got a good point. A concussion could knock you out for quite a while. Yeah. It was a pretty big hill, just saying. Yeah, and plus, I started paying for my own phone recently. Oh, really? And uh, how much are you paying for your phone? $65 per month. Does that seem a little extreme to you? Yes. How much would you think it should cost? Probably um, $75 because of tax. But that's more than you're paying right now. You want to pay more? Now I have to pay seventy five dollars with that because because of tax, but because it does right at ten more dollars. So Eric, since you're talking about money here, what is your opinion about the economy? Do you think we're going to go in a recession? Now I got to keep self confidential. Well, I mean, generally speaking, do you feel like we're going to go in a recession? Everybody's reporting that that's what's going to happen here in the next six months. What do you think? Don't know. Do you know what that means? Uh uh-uh. uh. That means that the economy is going to go bust. Now, you know, there's inflation happening these days. Now, these are things that are actually affecting us people at home right now. Do you know how much they're paying for gas right now? $75. 70, no, no, they're not paying $75 a gallon. Okay, now, don't you be inflating the price even more. It's only like $4.40 or 5 bucks a gallon, depending on where you are in the country. Making them pay $75 a gallon? Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, hell no. Nah. What are you, a communist? No. I mean, come on. Do you know how much soda went to? Um, the, the time meter is going up to 22 right now. What does that mean? That we, that we might have been wearing people out. Oh, we're wearing people out. Well, then we better go, then. We got to wrap this thing up. Yeah. Do you got one good one-liner to end us out here? No. No? I have nothing to say. Well, that's all, folks, from Mr. Eric's show. We'll talk to you next time. Yeah.